What's up, folks? Me and Marcus just got out on the water looking to put some big crappie in the boat. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the new live sweep from Cornfield Crappie Gear. You probably saw that installation video. Well, today's the first day we're getting out here to go after these winter crappie. New technology, Marcus. I'm ready. Yeah, good stuff. So, hey, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Interesting fact, only 20% of the viewers are actually subscribers. I wouldn't believe that. Isn't that amazing? So if you haven't subscribed, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna put an action-packed episode right here on winter crappie fishing, new technology, live sweep. We've got all the gadgets, two live scopes, and we're gonna be showing you footage from them. Thanks for joining us. Man, you're in store for a great episode. We're gonna look at side imaging to find these crappie. We're gonna look at the Cornfield Crappie Gear live sweep, which is incredible technology. We're gonna put a ton of fish in the boat. This is an extra long episode, folks. And then we're also gonna get a look at the fishing specialties, their mount, their manual mount on the side of the boat. Great episode, folks. Get ready for a fantastic episode from Three Pound Fishing. Thanks to these great sponsors. First fish of the day. I think they just wanted that twister tail. Yes, sir! So you gotta ask Marcus, does he like the live scope in the back? Does he, you're showing fish right there. That's good, right straight back now? Yeah. That's awesome. That's good fish. So without a doubt, give uh, fishing specialties a shout out that's an awesome device really easy easy manual um, I do recommend that you take these off anytime you're not using them because they will shear off they use plastic bolts there for that reason uh, but take it off when you do use it put the whole platform on that type of thing second live scope system for anybody that wants to you know get more information email me check out that monitor mark show, show them the monitor so the uh, advantage of side imaging is definitely when you're back here, you can be checking that out as well. And uh, now you have a live scope, so awesome, let's go. Good fish, we're gonna let this guy go. Um, let me show you what I'm fishing with today. I'm fishing with the the Jink Down High Viz line, Ozark Rod, Brush Buster, love it. Yeah! Interesting thing about today is we just followed about a five inch rain. So these fish are definitely trying to stay away from the fresh water and they're just a little bit deeper and they're all the way to the ground. They're not, they're not up there very high at all. They're trying to stay away from that fresh water. But we're marking a lot of fish. We just have to zero in on the color. I'd like to thank the guide trip for canceling due to snow. I needed a little boat time. We got five inches of rain, so we're actually getting some flurries right now here, uh, but the rest of the state of Illinois got pretty much hammered yesterday, and the guide trip was coming in from the north. He couldn't make it down, so Marcus found his, himself back in the boat. Yes, sir. That's a tank. Another hammer. Bam! Beautiful fish. Beautiful day. Excited. So the advantage of live sweep, and maybe it's not so much an advantage when you have your power poles down, 
but um, I'm being able to turn that independent of the trolling motor. So let's have a close up here of it. And right now I'm utilizing the foot pedal, which is down here. Now I do have the power poles down here because I wanted to, well, we just, we're shallow, so, and we're casting out to the fish. But you can see Mark's, the fishing specialties monitor. Oh, you got a lot of action yeah. going right there. And that's close to the boat. That's close. So these are just some of the special products you can utilize with live scope. You can utilize with live scope. It's just a lot of fun. But in combination of that live scope system right there and the side imaging that Marcus has, he can really get a vibe what's going on. He's projecting that live scope in the back of the boat. The side imaging is going obviously off to the side here. And then I've got my own live scope up in the front. So a lot going on. No doubt you do not need this stuff, this amount of technology for catching fish. But uh, it sure does make it fun. So check this out, folks, how good this is. Right there. Honestly, you don't need live scope if you have side imaging and you want to fish off the back of your boat. We utilize the side imaging so much. Um, and it's just as effective. We know when schools are coming through, um, I don't want to say it's just as effective, but it's definitely awesome. I mean, that's the only thing that's happened. Oh, that minnow is down. There it is. Finally got one on the minnow, man. I've missed so many. That is a good quality fish right there, folks. So a lot of these special mounts, you know, the fishing specialties, the cornfield crappie gear, check them out. You know, you can also just put it on your trolling motor, which I think is actually probably better for following crappie, individual crappie. I think you really do need to have it on your shaft. But if you're spider rigging, if you're brush pile fishing, um, I think the live sweep is going to be freaking awesome. I also think it's good in this sense. So to each his own. There's so many different ways to, to mount live scope and these, these specialty products are just, you know, a, a great option for you to have. That's a good fish. Solid 12 inch or easily. All right, while we take this boat ride to our next spot, let's talk about electronics and what you need, what you don't need. Folks, this is overboard. I know it's overboard. I am in love with live scope and I have outfitted this boat with two systems and everything else under the sun, but you don't need that to catch fish. You don't. And uh, I always emphasize that to people. I just really, really enjoy it. And I think the guests on the guide trips really enjoy it to have their own system. So that's why this boat's outfitted the way that it is. So on this day, we started off casting in the shallows. We caught roughly around four to six fish. We went searching for other shallow areas that we thought would be better, but in reality, they weren't. What ended up happening, and you'll see here shortly, we actually go out and we start chasing schools again, and we actually put good little, I mean, we put another 15, 20 fish in the boat because we just decided that this wasn't where the fish were at. We needed to go find them, and the aggressive fish were not on the shore, and I think that had a lot to do with the, the rain that we had gotten, and I think that you needed to go deep. So you're gonna see that here shortly, but let me tell you, these electronics, cornfield crappie gear, the live sweep is the real deal. There's no joke. Call Mark up there. That is the top of the line in terms of mounts for live scope. And then you've got fishing specialties for a manual mount on the side of the boat. Just so you know, they both, uh, Cornfield Crappie does not make that type of mount yet. And so fishing specialties really does have a great product. I'm really impressed by it. I would give them a call without a doubt for that type of device. So here we go. Little guy. So live sweep is a great technology. I think it's really gonna be utilized well for uh, spider riggers. 
if that's your play in the spider rig for the day i think having live sweep on there is going to be really awesome um, brush pile fishing too guides if you're a guide to have your guys here and your trolling motors up fixed on that uh, spot lock being able to sweep that around is to show your your uh, guests your brush pile i think that's going to be awesome um, a lot of good opportunities with live sweep now I think if you're chasing fish down, again I'll just iterate, I think that it's it's easier to have it on the trolling motor, especially if you have an Ultrax where you can go left, right really easily and quickly. Um, but spider rigging, brush piles, structure. So during this part of the day we figured it out the fish needed to be deeper and they also wanted it pretty much standing still so we were only vertical jigging we were not casting anymore no curly tails no nothing we had to make sure we were vertical jigging these baits right into them they wanted it very very slow and we eventually put i mean roughly 15 to 20 more slabs in the boat just just doing this right here following the schools it was great fun Good fish, it's a good fish, it's a good day on Egypt. Hey guys, thanks for joining today. We really appreciate it. Good day, special mounts for live scope. Experience them, good time. Being back here, I fish with Marcus. I can look at live scope too. Good I get, I get good to look at, to get to fish with me. <laughs> good day. Now get back to the front of the boat. You done caught a fish.